weather day issued as the temperatures just keep on rising here. First Lord Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez keeping an eye on all of it. Yeah, all of the things, even some pop up storms expected late this afternoon, some of which could be strong. But what you're feeling right now, no rain, just heat and humidity. 94 is how hot it feels in Atlanta. Feels like 99 in Athens, Milledgeville. Feels like 110 degrees. That's because it's hot, but it's also humid. Actual temperatures near 90, some of us even already in the 90s. It's 90 in Athens, 92 in Eatonton, 88 in Atlanta, 89 in LaGrange, and 87 in Rome right now. The warmest temperatures will be south and east of the city, where we do have a heat advisory for feels like temperatures in the triple digits. So I want to show you what things look like on radar right now, because we are dry across all of Metro Atlanta and North Georgia. But you take a look to our northwest. I'm watching this rain and these storms here to our northwest. These will sink to the south and east, increasing our rain chances as we head into the afternoon and evening. And some of these storms could even be a little strong, especially across far north Georgia. An isolated severe storm or two is possible. So right now, not a lot of action on the radar, but notice by 2, 3 o'clock, we'll start to see some slightly higher rain chances and then some rain expected late this afternoon. This particular model, a little on the wet side. We have other ones that have us most mostly dry around 7 o'clock, but I want to show you the potential is there, especially with that heat and humidity. It's very easy to see these storms develop and bubble up. We saw similar situations yesterday with most of us dry, but a couple storms popping in the afternoon through the early evening. By 11 o'clock, can't roll out a stray shower or storm, but overall rain chances are low, about a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain for this evening. Severe weather risk is north of Atlanta in the North Georgia mountains. We do have a level one risk of severe weather just means an isolated storm or two is possible as we warm to the mid 90s. It will be hot and humid this afternoon tonight. Still a few spotty storms. Keep that first alert weather app handy. It also stays warm and muggy with lows in the mid 70s tomorrow. Mostly dry for the day. In fact, the morning looks mostly dry by lunchtime. We're mostly dry even at two o'clock still dry over the area by late tomorrow. We will see rain chances south and east of Atlanta, so I really think areas east of Griffin, east of Athens have the highest rain chances for tomorrow. It will be another hot day with temperatures in the low 90s. But again, it's mostly in the afternoon that we could see some showers and storms. Potential tropical cyclone form officially formed. It is now over Cuba, has 30 mile an hour winds. It will continue to move over Cuba, but then either late tonight, early tomorrow, expected to be a tropical depression. Then by Saturday, forecast to be a tropical storm as it stays off the southwest coast of Florida. Models have it as a tropical storm as it makes landfall over Florida. Right now appears to be over the Big Bend, but obviously you have to look at that cone of uncertainty on its current forecast path. It should stay far enough south and east, minimal to no impacts over North Georgia, which is why we have minimal to no rain chances next week. If that path goes further west, that does mean higher rain chances. But for now, lots of heat and low rain chances next week. Ooh.